This recipe is inspired by cupcake hamburger or hamburger cupcake. For the vegetables, we're going to use carrots, cut up carrots. Wash the carrots and peel the skin and wash them again. Then cut up the carrots into small pieces. Now let's take the red onion, clean them up, and cut up in small pieces. Pour some oil into the pan and put the cut up onion into the pan and saute them. After the onion caramelized a little bit and put down the cut up carrot. And saute the onion and cut up carrots in the pan together, mix them together. Now put down the corn from the can and using the water to, to mix all the vegetables together. Just put uh, some salt and pepper a little bit into the vegetables, not too much 
because the meat and the cheese are already salty. Now let's grate the cheese. I'm using white cheese, but you can use the uh, yellow cheddar cheese or whatever cheese that you like. As long as it's the kind of cheese that bind all the ingredients together. Now, pour out the liquid from the vegetable mixture. We don't want it watery. Take half of the grated cheese into the vegetable mixture and mix them together. Let's put it aside for now. Wash the red potatoes. After being washed clean, put it back in the pot, put some water, and put it up on the stove to boil the potatoes. Now, let's put the hamburger meat into the plate. Season the hamburger meat with salt and pepper. Let's prepare the foil paper into like a cup shape. We're going to use the muffin shape pan to make the cupcake shape for the hamburger and vegetable and the cheese. Now, shape each hamburger meat inside the foil into the pan to make a shape like a cupcake. We're making three hamburger cupcake shapes.
Now we're going to put the mixture of the vegetables and the cheese inside the hamburger cupcake shape. Now we're putting the hamburger mixture cupcake shape meat into the oven. Put it on 375 degrees, bake it for about 15 minutes and take it out. Then cover it with foil paper so it won't get burned. Put it back into the oven and bake it for another 15 minutes. And then just take it out. It's ready. Now the potato is boiling and then boil it for about 10 minutes and that's it take it out don't boil it to be too mushy pour the potato into a strainer until all the liquids are gone and uh, cool it down then take the muffin pan with the hamburger cupcake shapes Take the foil out of the hamburger shapes, uh, cupcake shapes, and put them into the plate. Take half of the grated cheese, divide it into three, and put them on top of the hamburger cupcake shape. Now put the vegetable cheese beef cup into the microwave for one minute to melt the cheese. I use ready-made guacamole to make the guacamole sauce. Put all the guacamole into a bowl. Pour some lemonade on it to make the guacamole into a sauce. Now let's cut up the potatoes into half, into two.
I keep the skin on purpose because I want some coloring on the plating. Okay, now we're ready to do the plating, the garnishing of the vegetable cheese beef cup dinner. Put the vegetable cheese beef cup first and then the cut half potatoes. Then the uh, avocado guacamole sauce. Then put dollops of hot sauce. Garnish the vegetable cheese beef cup using the lemon leaves. Then put a dollop of mayonnaise. That's it guys, now we're ready to showcase the vegetable cheese beef cup. 